In the modern era of information and data overload, we take a lot of knowledge for granted. We sometimes think and act as if we know everything, especially about things close to home. Sure, we realize we don't know everything about outer space, but we tend to think we know a lot, if not nearly everything, about our own solar system, right? Well, to assume so is not so terrible. However, it is important to recognize scientists are still discovering new parts of our solar system, including an entirely new asteroid belt, and possibly even another planet. Today, we will be talking about the Kuiper Belt, not to be confused with the Oort Cloud, which is an even more distant spherical region of icy, comet-like bodies that surrounds the solar system. However, both the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt are thought to be sources of comets. The Kuiper Belt is one of the largest structures in our solar system. The others are the heliosphere and the magnetosphere of Jupiter. Astronomers estimate there are hundreds of thousands of objects in the Kuiper Belt region that are at least 60 miles wide or larger. The New Horizons spacecraft, after finishing its mission to take stunning close-up photos of Pluto, used its remaining fuel to lock onto one of these objects in the Kuiper Belt. Through rigorous studying and mathematical work, the team behind New Horizons was able to take photos of Arrokoth, the first ever fully identified object in the Kuiper Belt. As many of us know, Pluto is no longer considered a planet since it does not meet the technical definition. Due to the discovery of the Kuiper Belt, many theorize that Pluto is a comet from the Kuiper Belt that somehow, whether because of Neptune's gravity or through a collision, got pulled into closer orbit, thus appearing to be like a planet. In reality, thousands if not millions of Plutos exist in the Kuiper Belt. Today, the Kuiper Belt is slowly eroding itself away. Objects there occasionally collide with the collisional fragments producing smaller KBOs as well as dust that's blown out of the solar system by the solar wind. The total mass of all the material in the Kuiper Belt today is estimated to be no more than about 10% of the mass of Earth. I hope you enjoyed today's tour around our solar system, which continues to amaze and surprise us with previously undiscovered wonders.